What is this grill of rounded spikes in a very small London park? It looks like an array of fence ornaments. It doesn't have a hole beneath it. The park was very small and mostly paved, so I don't feel it is for removing mud from shoes. It is very much fixed into the ground and appears to have been there for a long time. What is it? That is called Bench of Nails. Designed in 2004 for a park in Clerkenwell, this bench plays with the fact that people will sit on anything, even if it has originally been designed to keep people off. What is this metal thing found on the trail? Google just came up with a bunch of coat hangers. My first reaction was a part of a backpack or a hook to hang the backpack off the ground, whilst sleeping in case there is food inside. Any ideas? That is a dog poop bag holder. No need to carry the dog poop bags on hand all the time when walking the dog. Easy clip to most leashes. It can carry at least one wasted bag on each side. What is this thing found in our holiday home? Hard plastic exterior and soft silicon inside. It clicks open and closed. Aprox 15 centimeters. I googled it and had no luck. Looks relatively new or modern and has no damage which may indicate what it's used for. No one in my family knows what it is either. It definitely holds something. Maybe for hand rolled cigarettes. What is it? Some comments said it's a banana slicer or a case for glasses. Others said it's a hot dog slicer or a case for insulin needles. But that is a pot holder called Handle Hands, which must be for cast iron pans. It is heat resistant and safe for your hand grip that comfortably locks onto cookware handles. What is this little door by the toilet with a spoon-shaped device attached to a hinge? It's in an older Ohioan house from 1928, maybe 7 by 9 inches, located directly behind the toilet. It has a strange spoon-shaped item attached to a hinge inside the thing. If I had to guess I would assume it recedes into the room directly behind the wall, but I was unable to get to that area to check. What is it? It's a toilet paper dispenser. I believe toilet paper was invented as flat sheets back in the 20s. So the spoon-shaped thing would rest on a stack of tissues to hold it down and hide it away. What is this thing about a teaspoon size, shaped like a ladle with straining holes? Chromium plated and I'd expect from the 20th century. I had lots of suggestions it's for an egg. Tried it with an egg, but a medium egg is a bit too big and very unstable. Appreciate the guesses, but hope for a verifiable source to settle a family argument. That is a mint sauce ladle from William Tay and Sons of Birmingham, England, from 1900 to 1940. The whole strain out the big pieces as you fill. What is this small window directly above a ramp at a hospital built in the 1910s? This is the only window this size and shape on the building that is in the process of being torn down in Milwaukee. The ramp winds away from the street and toward a small courtyard. The window is probably 2 to 3 feet tall and standard window width. I haven't done any searching yet because it's so specific. I'm not even sure what to search. Any ideas? I saw the blueprints of this building. The ramp is actually the roof of the downward sloping part of an underground tunnel that goes between the wings of the hospital. The window wasn't for depositing anything in or bringing anything like bodies etc out of the building, but just to light an otherwise pitch black room. It's extra small because the roof of the tunnel starts above ground, and this is the only size window that would fit there. What is this small black plastic electrical device I found glued over my backup lights? 2 by 1 inch and maybe 5 grams. I've tried searching but found no luck. This has been attached to a CAD from year 1997, so at most the device is that old. My guess is the battery died over the years. What is it? It's supposed to be a backup alarm that glues to the white reverse light on your car. It beeps when it senses the white light. Hence you are in reverse. What is this metal and glass locket with writing? It's from my great uncle and not sure what it could be. All I know is it could be from Argentina as my great uncle was from there. Any ideas? These look like the names of saints, possibly some kind of reliquary pendant. Those bits are presumably the bone fragments of the saints and the labels. If it can be confirmed authentic it's very valuable. Each one of those relics is hundreds of dollars each. I have rarely seen a reliquary with that many owned individually, 
so I think you have a special item there. I have only seen ones with that many in Italian churches personally. Any idea what kind or where this leveler is from? I found it on the ground of an abandoned farm. Plastic material with a leveler. What is it? It's a vintage decorative Eagle RV levels from the 1970s. My grandpop's camper had that exact same level on it. What is this alien pod looking thing? It is almost the same height as me, an average male. This is something very bulky and strange looking. It was at a house sale near Boston, Massachusetts. Any ideas? That is a Seberg Symphonola 148 jukebox, manufactured in the years 1946 to 1948, with vintage drive-in theater speakers on the floor. The left side thing is a wired remote control. In a diner they put those at each table, and you just plunked your coins into the remote, selected your song, and the machine put you in line to play after whatever was already in the queue. What is this metal piece attached to the wall in a bathroom in my Airbnb in France? It's metal, rigid and screwed to the wall, approximately 80 centimeters high. It's located next to the bathroom door. The openings are face down, which makes no sense to me. I have searched for metal racks and plates in French bathrooms and restrooms, but I found nothing. What is it? It's a magazine rack installed upside down. It's also deformed which probably made it more difficult to tell. I'm a carpenter and I see like this in literally every rental hotel and Airbnb I've ever visited. What is this small dense wood effect plastic piece with X slightly off center? No other marks. Double A battery for scale. Potentially a game piece. I dug it up in the garden of a house over 100 years old. There are lots of bits of pottery and clay pipe in the garden. What is it? It's a divination rune. It's one of the sets used for fortune telling. You can buy them in gift shops and witchy shops. I got a gorgeous set from a Christian charity shop. When I told them what they were, they were horrified. I offered them 50% of what a new set costs and walked away with some nice red stone ones. What is this wooden block with what looks like an ox cord coming out? Found in my hotel room in Rome. There are four of them in the room next to the beds. There doesn't appear to be any speakers in the room it would go to, and the fact that there are four of them in the room makes me think it's not an ox input. What is it? It used to be a headphone output for the TV. A jack for headphones to watch TV without disturbing roommates that are trying to sleep. What is this thing? Some French on it that simply confirms it's real copper with a gold brass ball. It's not overly large about the size of a standard cafetiere. It seems quite old, but other than that and what the picture shows, there is nothing else. What is it? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.